Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Code on Bytes Minecraft Walkthrough. So, as you can see, I've done a lot of clearing out of the area here. I uh, cleared out all the trees and I also leveled most of the ground so that I'd have room to uh, build stuff. It's one of the annoying things about living in a jungle. Uh, you have Land space is expensive. You have to do a lot of clearing before you can build in an area. So I think I'm going to have most of my base be underground. But anyway, here is my first uh, attempt at a house. Yeah, yeah, feel free to laugh at me because I've I've never been very good at building things that look that you know actually look good. I mostly just like making things like um you know various types of uh, mob farms and spawners and stuff. So yeah, um, I think right now I'm gonna place a door, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show all you newer players out there um, a safe way to place a door. Because see, here's the here's the issue with doors. Um, zombies will try to break them down, and if you're playing on hard difficulty the way I am, uh, they will be successful. They'll keep hitting the door, and it eventually will break. So if you push a, if you put a door in like this. A zombie will come along and they'll beat on it and eventually break it and then they can come in and so obviously you don't want that however here's a little trick I'm just gonna take the door pick the door up see zombies will only beat down doors that are closed and here's the other thing when you first place a door it is closed also when you when you place a door you you do it by clicking the a block on the ground and it, the hinge will be on the side of the block that's facing that you're facing. So um, I place I'm facing this block. Notice that the door is on you know this side of the block here. If I were to um, let's just pick this up, place it here like this. Now it's on. Now the hinge is on that side. Uh, wow, game just froze for a second there. But yeah, remember, a door is closed when you first place it and a zombie will never beat down a door that is open so if we place the door like this as you can see this door right here is now closed yes I know it makes perfect sense now here's the other thing when you right click a closed door it becomes open so this door is now open yes as you can see this door is uh, completely open yet when it's open we're unable to pass through it and a zombie will never try to beat down an open door. That means that th if you have your door positioned so that when it is open, it blocks movement through the doorway. E I hope I hope you guys are still following me. I realize it doesn't make perfect sense. Um, zombies will not be able to beat it down. So uh, yeah, and that is how you place a wooden door. Uh, so that zombies cannot beat it down. Uh, other uh, solutions that you can you can do are um, are to use a fence gate because zombies cannot beat those down. And you make a fence gate like this. And uh, like fences, fence gates are also one and a half blocks tall. So uh, yeah. So another thing you could do is let's say that I'd place this door the normal way so that a zombie could beat it down. You could just place a fence gate in front of it like that and that'll that'll keep zombies out of course then it's a pain in the butt because you have to uh you know it, it looks kinda dumb so I prefer the way that I just showed you but you know it, they're both useful methods to use so yeah I think what I'm gonna do is start digging out a big area underground and then I will I'm gonna work on a storage room and then I'm going to uh, make a farm to um, to plant those potatoes and carrots that we uh, that we got from the village because you know my supplies of food as you can see are kind of limited. I do have a bunch of rotten flesh from zombies, but yeah, yuck. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the digging off camera. Ooh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a in a minute. Alright guys, we are back, and I just slept, and so yeah, it is daytime, and as you can hear, 
as you can see, uh, I'll talk about this first, I dug out a rather sizable room underground and I took the time to actually make an organized place for my chests of stuff. I have cobblestone here, dirt in here, wood here, plant products, and yeah. And I really made a point of doing that because usually I just throw everything in a couple big chests and procrastinate on um, organizing them. And I find that, that when I do that, then it's a whole lot of trouble to, um, to uh, you know, move everything into, um, into a more organized way. And it, and it just creates a lot of trouble for myself. So I really made a point of um, making a special uh, storage area in my basement. And yeah, while doing so, I uh, found 12 pieces of iron ore, which, as you see, I've already smelted. And uh, yeah, so let's see, what are we going to do? Well, also, I'm running out of food, so it's time that we make a farm. And I've already picked out an area where I'd like to make the farm. And it's on a little island uh, in the swamp, uh, pretty close to here. And uh, yeah, I think it'll make a good farm. And uh, there's a slime making a whole lot of noise out there. God, slimes are annoying. You ever, you ever been on an airplane um, for like five hours and had a baby that just will not stop crying? Ever, ever had that happen? Let me tell you, that, that's nothing. It's nothing at all compared to uh, listening to slimes uh, hop around while you're trying to work. So let's see. Kind of, I kind of wanted to flatten this area out a bit. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this dirt back. I don't really have time to uh, mess around. I need to start growing food now. Now, to uh, farm things, it's really helpful to have water because uh, farmland. Um, if it's not within four blocks in any direction, including diagonally, of um, water, it will eventually revert back into um, regular dirt. Let's see, so I'm going to start. One, two, three, four. So let's see, to do this efficiently, we just need to have one little uh, thing of water and then um, we'll have, you know, farmland uh, in a 9x9 nine nine square with just one thing of water in the middle. And I forgot to make a hoe. Let's see. I'm going to make a hoe. To make a hoe, you do this. And uh, you use a hoe to uh, turn dirt into farmland. So let's see. Oop, that one went too far. So this dirt is event that farmland right here is gonna eventually uh, turn back into dirt because it's more than four blocks away from the water. All right. I think this one is gonna be the one for uh, carrots, and then I'll make another uh, square. Uh, like this for um, for potatoes, and then I'll make another one for wheat. All right, guys. So off camera, I made some more farms, and I also flattened out most of the, as much of this island as I could. And ah, oh, you're trampling my farmland, uh, so that we could build some more stuff here. And we're gonna tell show this skeleton what's what because we can. I really need to get some armor. Um, Alright, so... Okay, I completely lost track of what I was uh, saying due to this assault. That's been what it's kind of been like working here. Um, so yeah, I flattened most of this area out. There is uh, quite a huge mound here, about uh, three high, and now most of it's gone. And that took forever with stone tools and the constant interruptions from attacks. 
and the fact that several creepers blew up and I had to fill in the holes they made. So, you know, it was a pretty interesting night. I guess I could have had fraps running, but, you know, um, I don't have that much hard disk space, and most of what I was doing was boring, so, yeah. Figure, figure you guys probably don't want to see me digging a huge hole in the ground, digging, basically just flattening the ground. Not digging a hole, filling up a hole. So, yeah. Okay, what did I forget? Sorry, those, uh, those attacks, uh, made me forget what I was, uh, doing. Oh, right, yeah, as, a uh, we're gonna build a tree farm. Because, I don't know, I just kinda like, I mean, there's plenty of trees around, but I, I kinda like having all, you know, all my trees in, uh, in one designated spot so that it's easier to, uh, harvest wood. And as you can see, I just cooked some cobblestone in the furnace to get smooth stone because I kind of like to use I just I kind of like to use the uh, stone half slabs um, to make the floor of the tree farm. And hey, you know what? Um, we spawned in a, a snow biome, so we have those. We still have these uh, spruce saplings. Um, let's see, where do I want this? Is that? No, that's just my own footsteps. Oh, pick up this bone. And then, of course, you know, as you probably know by now, because it's all I've been talking about, we, uh, live in a jungle, so it's, um... So I have the jungle saplings from when I cleared that out. And let's just see how this looks. I need to empty my inventory. And then I, while I was clearing this out, I ended up getting some oak saplings. So, we're going to have all the different saplings, which I think is kind of cool. Um, one of the things I was going to make a point of trying to do in this Let's Play is work on making things that actually look nice, because I've got to be, like, the worst of the worst when it comes to uh, building things that look cool. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Do I want the uh, saplings to uh, be one block higher? I think they'd look good with half slabs around them. Uh, oh, I know. I'll uh, make uh, wood half slabs that are the type of wood that the saplings are going to grow, because I'm going to be growing all the different types of trees here. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Gotta go all the way back to the crafting table. Do I have any spruce wood on me? That is the question. Oh, well, we can come in here and uh, deposit some of the stuff that we don't need. Okay, let's see, spruce wood. Ah, yes, I got some. Perfect. Oh boy, you're gonna... Oh boy, these slimes are just gonna completely crush my farmland. Oh, and I did check on the Minecraft wiki um, to find out what are, what are exa how exactly slime spawning works in um, these swamp biomes. I figure if I'm gonna live in a swamp, I should probably know how the hostile mobs spawn. And their slime spawning is, in fact, not dependent on time of day the way uh, it was worded in some parts of it. Um... It's dependent on light level, as you'd expect, but it's also dependent on altitude. They'll uh, spawn at any light level that's 8 or below, so a little bit more light than um, than most hostile mobs uh, require for spawning, but but they also have a requirement that they, that they be at altitude um, f between 51 and 69. And that 69 is easy to remember. I don't know what you'll do for the 51. I mean, there's nothing really special about it. And let's see, how far apart do these have to be? I think... I think this will be good. So, yeah, if I do light up this whole island, it will, in fact... Um, you know what? No, they don't need to be that uh, that far apart. Let's see. So if I so if I uh, light up this uh, whole island, or at least or just part of it, and then put a fence around uh, the area that I do light up, I won't have to worry about slimes trampling the farmland. 
I'm just glad they didn't get to the um, to the part of the um, what am I trying to say? Part of the farm that had my stuff on it. All right, guys. So I finished up um, creating this little platform for the tree farm. So uh, let's make the uh, tree pods, I guess. And let's see. These are three blocks apart, and they were able to grow. So let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I think we'll have two rows uh, for each type of uh, skinny tree, and then we'll have the uh, big jungle trees down at the end. So let's see. There are th we have all the different types of saplings. There are uh, three types of uh, skinny trees, and then we have the jungle trees. So wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We don't have birch saplings. We don't have birch saplings. Uh, you know what? I, I mean, there's nothing that I really want to build with uh, birch wood right now. But the fact that I almost have all of them and, and just don't quite... That's just, that's just going to tear me apart. So I think we're going to have to go on an expedition to get some birch saplings. Let me just turn my particles off so that it's not so noisy. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, I'm going to go put my junk away, sleep real fast, and then we're going to go on an expedition to uh, get some birch saplings because I think there is a forest. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a forest on the way over here from uh, spawn. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and was that boat just... F I swear, Mojang, you guys had better fix these boats because there used to be some really cool contraptions you could make with boats, like... Um, like, Eth Ethos Lab came up with this uh, cool advanced transit system that used boats, and I'm not sure if it would work anymore, because boats have just become so brittle and so buggy. Alright. Alright, guys, so I slept, and I put all my stuff away, and we are ready to go on the hunt for some birch trees, so that we can say that we have every single type of tree growing in our little tree farm. Alright, let's see if I can avoid hitting any lily pads, even though the boats don't usually break on them anymore. Usually the lily pad just breaks, but sometimes it still does. It used to be every single time you hit a lily pad with a boat, it would break, and they sort of fixed that. Not completely, though. Alright, and we'll slow down so that it doesn't break on the shore. And, uh, we'll see what's going on in this chunk error. Let's see. Ooh, I didn't bring much food with me. Probably should have brought a little more. Oh, well, I don't think the forest was too far away. And I have that piece of rotten meat. And baked potatoes do, uh, have a pretty high saturation value, so... I shouldn't have to eat too, too often. Oh, oh, wow, what's this? Oh my god. Guys, you know what that is? This is a dungeon. Okay. Oh, what type of dungeon is it? <gasps> it's a skeleton dungeon! Yes! Alright. First thing I'm going to do is block this off because I do not want any creepers blowing up a skeleton dungeon. My dungeon. And yes, dungeons are weak enough to, um, or spawner cages, I should call them, are weak enough to be destroyed by a creeper explosion. And in case you don't believe me, I'm probably going to put a link in the description to a video of that happening to another Let's Player, just to show that it happens to the best of us. Oh, and it's happened to me, so, uh, several times, actually. And once I actually, uh, had a creeper blow up a double cave spider spawner, uh, with a third one pretty close by. That was unfortunate. And as always, because we found something really important, I'm gonna write down the location of it. So that I don't forget. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back. And I am so happy that I just found that dungeon. 
that is going to be really useful because skeletons are one of the most useful mobs in the game. I mean, they drop bones and arrows when they die. And you can't get much get more useful than that. I mean, bones are useful because you can craft them into bone meal, which can be used to uh, make things grow instantly. Obviously very useful for farming, as it means you uh, don't need to use up as much uh, land space. And arrows are useful because, well, you can shoot people with them. And, uh, yep, just as I thought, here's a forest. If we can get over this chunk error... Yeah, so I guess coming out here was totally worth it, because uh, we found that uh, skeleton dungeon. And, um... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing something with that really soon. Maybe making some sort of experience grinder. I don't know whether I'll do that before the iron golem farm or after. Uh, that'll, uh... That's something I will decide uh, later on. Um... But next episode, I'm going to be jumping headfirst into either working with the uh, Skelly Dungeon or uh, starting the Iron Golem Farm. Uh, so next episode, we're going to jump headfirst into a pretty big project. It'll be one of those two. All right, guys, we are back, and check it out. We've got all the different types of saplings. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to do... Oh, let's see. I think I'll plant the um, oak ones right here. Oh, no. No, this row is... I said I was going to do um, two rows of each different type of sapling. So, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, need the torches. So we'll do some another row of spruce ones right here. And then we'll do the birch, not the birch, the um, oak ones here. And uh, we'll have the uh, birch ones over here. And unfortunately we don't quite have eight yet. But that will be remedied just as soon as these saplings decide to grow. And so yeah, then, on, then here on out I think I'll do the, um, the big jungle trees. Alright, so I got the stuff that I need to uh, do what I'm doing right now. I say, I am absent-minded today. Well, actually, I'm absent-minded every day. Oh, and hey there, Mr. Zombie. How's it going? How's the uh, flesh rot going today? And I think that the jungle trees typically need to be four blocks apart uh, from each other to grow. Although I could be wrong. But yeah. So, yeah, you can't have anything um, adjacent to where the trunk is going to be. In any block at all. Even something like a, uh, like a torch. Like, this will prevent the, this uh, jungle tree from growing. So, yeah. You just kind of need a uh, free space around them. Oh, another big slime. Yeah, I'll take your slime balls any day. <laughs> I just remind you, slime ball. Uh, when my mom would, uh, used to get mad at, uh, people, uh, um, okay, she, she used to get, uh, mad at, um, you know those forms when you order something online, how annoying they can be, like how if you get, if you enter one thing wrong, they'll, um, it, they'll sometimes erase everything that, everything else that you entered and make you re-enter all of it. Um, well, she'd call uh, she'd call the people who um, who made those loathsome slime balls when they um, whenever that happened to her, which is kind of funny. I don't know why I thought of that, but yeah. All right, so oh, I have a bone, so I can show you how bone meal works. Yeah, if you, as you can see, you just craft one bone into three bone meal like that, and you just right-click to use it. And, uh, yeah, let's see, will these grow? Yep, they sure do. And that can be used on things like wheat, it can be used on um, potatoes, carrots, so yeah, it's pretty useful. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to do some farming off-camera, harvest all this wood, and, uh, yeah. 
next episode we will be um, we'll be starting our first big project and we'll, we'll be jumping in head first I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to be doing something with the Skelly Dungeon or whether I'm going to be uh, making preparations to uh, uh, build the Iron Golem farm. If I was going to do the second one, um, what I'd be doing is making a contraption that will force villagers to breed with each other infinitely. Um, it's called an infinite breeding cell. But yeah, so because you need, to, I need to get there, get a lot of villagers if I'm going to make an iron golem farm, and so I need to start getting the population up uh, ahead of time. So yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to be, uh, I don't know which one I'm going to be doing, but either way, it's going to be head first into a, into a nice building project. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I've got to get a. I've got to find a better way of saying goodbye. <laughs>